Welcome to Loveland Church Thanksgiving. It's a blessing to give thanks. That's why the word, Psalm 104, verse 1, give thanks to the Lord. In the New Testament, we're told, watch this, it is important in all things, give thanks. Now, that's really important in 2020. <laughs> and uh, there is no headline promise that 2021 is going to be better, but we know this. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Right here at Loveland Church, you're going to be able to witness our regular Thanksgiving revival. Some of the greatest pastors and preachers that you've ever heard in your life are going to be standing behind this pulpit and sharing the Word of God on this Thanksgiving season. We're together on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and on Thanksgiving morning as well. 7.30, those uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and at uh, 9 a.m. on Thursday morning for Thanksgiving. I'm Pastor Chuck Singleton, for those who don't know, and Loveland Church meets in the high desert and at Santa Monica and here in Fontana. So from the desert to the sea, give thanks. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the privilege of enjoying the Word from this great plethora of great men and women of God. Pray that you will speak to us. My heart is open now. My mind is open. I want to hear from you. Speak in Jesus' name. Amen. Give 
Good afternoon, Loveland Church. My name is Pastor Barbara Fumby, and I'm going to come to you um, with a subject, Are You Thankful? First of all, Lord, we just thank you this afternoon for allowing me to speak before you. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to anoint me, word my mouth, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that I speak with clarity and understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you thankful? I'm coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. I just want to uh, say I'm not going to be before you just for a few moments. But I want to say, in everything, give thanks for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I want to repeat that again. Give in everything, give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. There's three things that stood out to me in this verse. And Paul says it's a command to give thanks. In everything, give thanks. This is a divine expectation and a degree and giving thanks. A command to rejoice, pray continuously, and to give thanks. The Bible uh, makes it clear that all, and I mean all believers, are to give thanks. And David said in Psalms 103, he says, I like this, it says, Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul, and all that within me, bless his holy name. Then he said in verse 2, he says, Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Verse 3 says, Who forgiveth all thine iniquity, who healeth all thy disease, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. Verse 5 says, Who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. You know, Paul says that, and, and he said it also in Romans 1, he says, 21st verse, he says, The Bible says, For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him. They act as if they were in their own source. They forgotten God. You know, I'm reminded of the Israelites in Numbers 14. How they grumble and how they complain against Moses and Aaron. And how the people said to them, if only we had died in Egypt in the wilderness. Now, don't you think that's complaining and grumbling? But they also said, why is the Lord bringing us to this land on to, only to let us fall by the sword? Our wife and children would be taken as plunder. They're complaining. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? Now, you're talking about a people who were delivered out of Egypt, but they want to go back to, to Egypt. They want to go back. So it says it would be better for us to go back to Egypt. But you know what? They forgot God. They forgotten when, how God blessed them minutes of time. They forgot how God allowed them to escape the Red Sea. And, and how God kept them from harm. But they forgot God. You know, I begin to understand what God is, is really saying. Instead of being grateful, we grumble. Instead of being thankful, we complain. First of all, the, there is a divine expectation 
a will to give thanks. God said in everything, give thanks. God is not saying give thanks for everything, but he's saying give thanks in everything. And he's not only saying to give God thanks because we are sick. That's not what he's saying. Because, and then he said not to give thanks because we are broke. But what he's actually saying, don't think of any, think of anyone who's, I don't think anyone would want to be grateful while they're broke or while they're sick. But what God is saying, when you go through circumstances, give thanks. When you go through the circumstances, give thanks. So he's saying rejoice always. Pray continually that giving thanks, you're giving thanks in your circumstances. Amen. So I want to question you this afternoon. Are you thankful? Are you grateful? Can you say thank you? A lot of people can't say thank you because God is want us to give him thanks. Amen. You know, when I was preparing this sermon, it brought tears to my eyes, literally brought tears to my eyes. I was feeling this because in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, I always give thanks to the, to the Lord. I rejoice and I continue to pray and give thanks. Psalms 4 tells me, you enter into gates with thanksgiving. So I'm entering into his gates with thanksgiving. And, and I like to say with closing I'm so thankful to know that when I come to God in his presence, it tells us that there is power in his presence. There is healing, restoration. There is joy. There is peace when we enter into the presence of God. And I'm thankful to know that we have an open door into the presence of God, that we have access into the present. His door is always open and it's never closed. I'm also thankful that the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endured to all generation. That means that the Lord is always good. He's always loving and kind. His faithful goes on and on. Amen. I thank you for allowing me to present this message. In Jesus' name.